Here in Detroit, a city of war. On the city's west side, a 150 block area is off limits to everybody. U.S. Army paratroopers, National Guardsmen, state and local police are continuing the fight against a handful of snipers. I just want to say, I feel like I'm with fam. Yeah. This is like one of those moments because like movies like these don't happen that often. Right, right. And then the bonus is the movie's dope. Yes. Right. I mean, I know it feels weird to say that. So how, how would you like, so people get a full understanding of what Detroit's all about, how would each of you break it down? Okay. Um, they had some, some riots. In, right. in in 67 in Detroit. And um, there was a lot of police brutality. There was a lot of um, misguided sort of, uh, uh, what's, the, what's, the, what's the word? Misguided sort of like. Um, police conduct. Yeah. Uh, okay. yeah. I mean, this rebellion definitely, uh, it inspired a lot of Horrible police work. <laughs> right. That's a very PC way to say that. Horrible right. police work. Very PC horrible way to police say that. work. I mean, you can see, you can see that you know, the injustice at that time, the oppression definitely you know took the city to a boiling point, and um, the incident at the Algiers Motel is 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 a, a true product of that. And um, this movie definitely documents the whole process from the beginning all the way into the end of these riots. Now, of course, you guys are all professional actors, so it's mm -hmm. your job to recreate what happened 50 years ago. Right. But as human beings, how weird is it to be recreating something that's still actually happening today? Like, you turn on your phone, or you turn on the television, you read the paper, what you're recreating is still going on. It's really weird, but you use it to feel it. You know, it gives you, you know, that hope to like, okay, I gotta really, really tell this story. I gotta really, really be on my game. You know, I can't mess up, I can't slack. I gotta really, really be in it. So I use a lot of that to fuel me. Yeah, Good. and I gotta, you know, I really gotta tip my hat to, to like, guys like Will Poulter and Jack. Those guys, they had the hardest job. Yeah. You know, because they had to come in and not only be in black company at all times, most of the time, <laughs> you know, but they had to, come and be this brutal, just this brutal viewing of really what the police are, you know what I mean? And I think that um, without them, it wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have been the same film. Cause no. I remember times that we were shooting scenes and we really had to stop and like hug and be like, yeah. Okay, all right, you know yeah. what I mean? that's, what yeah. I was, that's what I was gonna yeah. ask you. Yeah. I know yeah. one time I was talking to Lawrence Fishburne and he said he was shooting What's Love Got To Do With It when he was playing Ike Turner. He said he was so into character that no one would talk to him on the set after right. they yelled, Cut. Right. Uh, they were like, we yeah. hate you. Right. And that that yeah. that, that lingered over. So yeah. I was wondering how you guys like, no, we hate you, man. We, right. we ain't even talking to you at craft services. <laughs> like, we hate you. I had a little moment like that one Did time. Did you? Yeah. Like, yeah. I, was, I, I, gotta lie. I was I was on the wall, you know, for a long time. Man. Yeah. One of the man was hitting me a lot, and I was like, hold on, man. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> and you know, we had to hug it out. He always apologized every time he apologized, shook my hand, hugged me, yeah. apologized about it. So yeah. But that one time, bro, it's coming to slow to a Hold on, too great. Right. 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 <laughs> no, I mean I get that. I get that because it's, 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 it's tough. Now it, it's about the city of Detroit. So yeah. did any of you take like a professional field trip to Detroit to sort of like get the nuances of the city, the people? Because a lot of people that are in Detroit now were around in '67. You know, it's incredible that the type of pressure that Detroit is under is so universally known. Like, you don't even have to move. You can just, if you probably Google Detroit, like, it, nothing but, like, the the bad stuff comes up. You know what I mean? You see how many houses are boarded up. You see how many things have been sold. You think, you see how the property value has dropped, you know? So it's, like, such a universal thing to know that Detroit is going through all this, but they don't bring up, like, all the great things. You know what I mean? So I think yeah. this movie is, like, a balance of the two, where you see you know, this amazing uprising, but at the same time you see like this these beautiful musicians and their struggle, you know, and you, you see what, what they had to go through to make this 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 beautiful creation of music, you know? I need you to survive the night. We're bluffing? We don't bluff! <laughs> 